Hello, fellow mind, body, wisdom enthusiasts and dowsing devotees. This particular video is going to explore how to find and clear the emotions that are causing age-related farsightedness. This could also apply to, I suppose, any kind of farsightedness. But uh, Marie in Austria emailed me and wanted some information on this. So going down my list of email from all the people who want information and making videos for you. So feel free to contact me through my website, emorescue.com, if you have any questions on any conditions or even more importantly about dowsing. I'd be happy to make a video if it's a good topic for all the different thousands of people who watch these. So age-related farsightedness. Farsightedness in general means, that, uh, of course, you can see at a distance but not close up. And I know the wisdom of Louise Hay for this particular thing would be, what are you afraid of seeing or you don't want to see that's up close in your life? Like you're okay seeing things in the distance, like in the future, but seeing things up close in your life, it, you don't want to see it. So your eyes are, are blurring to sort of help you. Okay, if you don't want to see it, we'll take care of that for you. And you certainly don't want that, right? I would recommend taking a look at what's going on in your life close up right now maybe something that's right in your face right uh something that's really bothering you it could be uh, maybe a job you hate or a person in your life a family member who's always in your face or who's causing problems for you and such write down everything you could think of and then just start releasing your fears about it now if you're a person who douses you can absolutely use your dowsing to ask the questions to find exactly who the person or the situation or whatever's going on that's causing this particular um, inability to see up close or a blurring of things. What's causing the blurring of things up close? And then release it. So uh, since I don't have that condition and I'm not in touch with Marie in Austria right now, uh, what I would do is uh, and this is just a sample for you use at your own risk just take a look again at those things that are bothering you up close things that are even frightening to you it, it could be something going on with the government or with a loved one you don't want to see a loved one suffering including a beloved animal friend who maybe is getting older and having a tough time with a lot of illnesses you just start clearing your governing vessel meridian which runs from the bottom of your torso all the way up to here you can tap if you got a little shoulder pain or stiffness. If you're more limber, just start going like this and talking about letting go of the condition. And you can do this crumbling motion, which I love, which I saw a shaman in Mongolia doing. I now release all my fears of seeing something close up front. We'll use my mom as an uh, example. I release my fears causing this farsightedness and inability or decreasing ability to see things up close in my life <sighs> maybe causing me to need reading glasses say uh, seeing my mom's declining situation as she approaches her next very large decade in life clearing out all my fears about her and about what this could mean in my life including selfishly interruptions in my work, in my play, because I got to drop everything and take care of something for her. I let all this go now. I let go of my fears that the bad times are never going to end with this particular situation. I release all my feelings of sadness and sorrow and feeling helpless and hopeless to help my mom in any way except energetically. I let go of her fears about my fears about her health or the lack thereof in specific areas of her body. Just clearing all that out now. I'm going to be really selfish. I let go of my fears that things that my mom have could come on to me. And I might not be able to release them like I'm doing right now. Just let that go. Whew. That's how I would release any fears causing an inability to see things up close. Just think about 
what it is that you don't want to see that might be bothering you or making you feel sad in your heart or maybe like your gut feels sort of clenched or something and just clear, clear, clear. This could be uh, having like a hypercritical mate or a spouse or a hypercritical boss. And as uh, soon as they start seeing whatever you know, you're know you doing in life or your work, that they get all critical and you're afraid for them to see things up close that you've produced or created. Just let it go, let it go, let it go. So Marie in Austria, thank you so much for the question. That's my answer. That's what I would do. I wish you so much healing and wellness and well-being in your life and just peace and joy. That's what we're here for, to get through all this crazy, cruddy stuff and just live in bliss and love. And so it is. Peace out. Thank you so much for commenting below if you like this video or tell me something else you might like to see. Thank you for subscribing and visiting my website, emorescue.com. Bye for now. My website, emorescue.com, offers free ebooks, audios, videos, EFT charts, free charts, all kinds of information for your self healing empowerment. Check it out today. Thank you.